Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Etty and if you are returning, welcome back. Here we talk about everything skincare, hair care and feminine hygiene. If this is something you are interested in, please stick around and subscribe. In today's video, we'll be talking about the five things that I introduced to my shower routine that makes my skin a lot better. Having a great shower routine cannot be overestimated because your shower routine can make or break you your overall skin health and the way your skin looks. I noticed that my skin started improving in look, texture and uh, overall feel when I started paying more attention to my shower routine. That is because before I'll just step into the shower, make use of any soap that I find, use it all over my body, rinse my body and I'm out. I did not used to pay attention to whatever I'm really using on my skin. As long as I'm using soap and I'm scrubbing my body and I come out clean and fresh, that was okay for me. But once I decided to pay attention to my shower routine, a whole lot changed. My skin changed a lot and I started receiving even more compliments. Now I'm going to list the five things that I changed about my shower routine that really made the great difference for me. The first on my list is my sponge. I now have two types of sponge. Before I used to have just any regular sponge like the soft sponge, but now I have the soft sponge and I have the exfoliating sponge. I use the exfoliating sponge every day and I also use the soft sponge every day. Now this is how I do it. As for me, since I work from home, I don't have to step out under the sun a lot. In the morning, I use my exfoliating sponge and in the evening, I use the soft sponge. The importance of exfoliating sponge is that it's going to help get rid of dead skin cells on your skin. Now the difference between the exfoliating sponge and the other soft sponge is that the exfoliating sponge, just like the name implies, actually helps to exfoliate your skin it is stronger and when you use it on your skin you can feel that it has more pressure on your skin compared to the soft sponge it actually goes deep into your pores and get rid of dead skin cells this is very very important and when i started using the exfoliating sponge i noticed a lot of difference on my skin and then i used the soft sponge because it's not good to over exfoliate your skin that is why i tend to use the soft sponge later in the evening and i use the exfoliating sponge in the morning so you can switch this around if you are someone that goes out a lot. So you can use your exfoliating sponge at night and then use your soft sponge in the morning. It's still going to work great for your skin. The next on my list is an exfoliating scrub. I started using an exfoliating scrub in my skincare routine and I noticed a great difference. Like before, I didn't care about scrubbing my skin. I did not care about using any physical scrub or whatever on my skin. I was just using only my sponge like I said earlier but when I started using an exfoliating scrub to scrub my skin I noticed a great difference. Now what happens is that the skin is constantly renewing itself and within 28 days to 35 days depending on your age. So as the skin is constantly renewing itself it is bringing out the dead skin cells like the cells are moving from the dermis from the dermis part of your skin to the top as they are coming out to the top they die off so once they die off some of them fall off on their own while the others get to stick around and stay on your skin surface that's why when you look at your skin you see some discoloration some parts getting darker than the other that is the work of the dead skin cells that sticks on your skin now these dead skin cells, they need extra work for them to fall off. Now, this is where the exfoliating scrub comes in. By the time you exfoliate your skin, at least once in a week, you are going to notice a great difference. It is going to improve your skin texture. It's going to improve your, the, your skin is going to blend and you will just notice a lot of improvement. Your skin will be soft. It will help get rid of those dead skin cells that get stuck on the surface of your skin. And overall, it will help your other product to work better. Because when you are using skincare product on your skin, you want the product to work, right? But if you don't use an exfoliating scrub, you don't exfoliate your skin, you will not give this product the opportunity to penetrate deeper into your skin for it to actually work well. So exfoliating your skin also goes a long way in making your product to work well. Just think about it like this. Just imagine you have something covering your skin and then you constantly keep putting something on top of it. It's not going to sink in. But once you remove the covering 
on the thing on your skin or on the surface where you place it you see that whatever you put on top is going to sink and absorb into your skin the third thing that i did that improved my skin is shaving yes i started shaving before i don't used to shave my sister talked to me a lot about shaving but i used to tell her oh, no i can't i can't just shave no please i just leave my hair god wanted the hair to be there that's why it's there so i'm not going to shave my skin please i don't want to shave i i was like this for a long time and because of that i was always having a lot of discoloration on my arms because i refused to shave i actually have hairs a lot of hairs on my arms but i refused to shave i did not want to shave because i did not it did not make sense to me back then why i should shave my skin but i noticed that as soon as i started shaving my skin getting rid of the hair on my arms made my product to penetrate better and whenever i shave and come out from the bath my skin is going to shine like times three of what it was before like almost immediately so i now shave my skin or shave my arms most especially so when i shave my arms that's because my arms are more prone to hyperpigmentation so i tend to shave them more i shave my arms and i exfoliate them and it makes my product to work better and makes my arms to shine and glow even better when i finally decided to start shaving changed everything for me and i'm not turning back on this one i know that not everyone is a fan of shaving some people love to use the wax if you can wax fine but for now i've been shaving and i'm still thinking of trying waxing if i get to wax and i like it i think i will also be waxing my skin but for now i'm just I'm going to stick with shaving for now because shaving works for me and i get to shave like once in a week and i'm good to go the fourth thing i introduced to my shower routine is having a facial wash yeah before i just used to use the soap i use on my body to wash my face like okay i don't really have problem on my face so let me just wash my face so i use whatever soap i use on my body to wash my face now the truth is that the skin on the face is more tender and more sensitive than the skin on the other part of your body now the skin on the other part of your body can tolerate concentrated active ingredients meanwhile the skin on your face sometimes can't tolerate concentrated active ingredients that is why facial product is different from body product when you start using facial product you are going to notice great change and difference on your skin because these products are formulated specially for your face and it is formulated to take care of the soft tissues on your face and also help to tackle the problems associated with the face now when i started using facial wash on my face i noticed that my face became brighter i did not have um, hyperpigmentation again because i used to have some hyperpigmentation around here my forehead my around my jawline like that so when i started using the facial wash on my face i noticed a great difference and i noticed that it is milder compared to my body soap that i used to use on my face when i use the facial soap it's like I'm pampering my skin it's very mild and it just gives me an overall best and very good results so that is something i introduced that i absolutely absolutely love and i'm not going back on anytime soon or ever then the last thing i did is taking my oils to my bathroom now this is really going to be helpful for someone with a dry skin if you have a dry skin it is very important for you to use oils on your skin that is because sometimes when you use product that contains emulsifiers like you use lotion you use cream and you don't still get the result you want your skin is still feeling dry that's because emulsifiers actually emulsifies oil and actually makes oil to bind with water so according to research when you use products that contains emulsifier if you have extremely dry skin it is going to emulsify the little oil that you have left on your skin which is going to mix with the water and might cause you to experience even drier skin so it is better for you to always use oil when you are in the bathroom now why i decided to take my oil into the bathroom is because before i step out of the bathroom and go to where my dresser is the ac is drying out the water on my skin so by staying in the bathroom i just 
tap my skin with the towel i don't clean everything off i still allow some amount of water to be on my skin then i use the oil all over my body this allows the oil to absorb better into your skin when you use the oil immediately after your shower you don't waste time you don't allow the water on your skin to dry it allows the oil to penetrate better into your skin and also helps it to work better so you are going to notice that your skin is going to remain moist and softer for a longer period of time compared to when you allowed your skin to dry up completely before you applied the oil i hope this made sense and you understood everything or everything that i said now these are some of the things that i introduced to my shower routine that made a great difference for my skin and i'm really enjoying it i know that there are other things that some people including their shower routine but this is what i have in mind if there is anything you if you've included to your shower routine that made the difference for you please let me know in the comment section we are all here to learn so i can get to learn from you and also get to see what works what else i can add to my shower routine to give me that fulfilling skin glow that i've always been looking for in case you don't know i have a skincare brand known as etifran skincare we are available on instagram and on the website it is a natural skincare brand that caters for different skin needs if you want to shop you can go on my website www.etifranskincare.com the link is going to be in the description box and click to shop we deliver worldwide and your location is not a barrier to us you can contact me through email check the description box you'll see and i also have some links to some of my recommended product and my favorite product that you should check out down in the description box and you can shop them as well on amazon thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate and i love that you get to stay this long to watch this video and spend this time with me please subscribe if you've not done so already give this video a thumbs up that way youtube will recommend this video to more people and it will get to reach a wider audience thank you for doing that for me i love you i'll see you in my next video bye